it is. My goodness, uh, it's great to be alive and in the house of God together. I'm so glad to see all of you here. Welcome, welcome. Uh, uh, we have a guest I know with us. Mike came with Kenny this morning. We're grateful for your presence with us this morning. And just a, a hearty word of welcome to everybody. Uh, I want to make a few announcements uh, and, and kind of set the stage of where we are today. First of all, take a good close read through the Antioch story and uh, be mindful of what's happening there in the life of our church through those announcements. But uh, I want to set the stage for this service that we're going to share in today. It's a different service, um, as you'll see by the bulletin and all of the liturgy that we'll be participating in. But the reason we're doing this service today is, believe it or not, Advent is just around the corner. And um, Advent is the beginning of the church year. So we're really coming to the end of our uh, liturgical Christian year, and we begin a new church year with the first Sunday of Advent. Now, <laughs> we're going to do things a little differently with Advent this year. We're going to start a week early because Christmas Eve is on a Sunday. We want to start a Sunday early in Advent so we have time to do what we want to do to tell the story of the season. So be mindful of that. There's going to be a little disconnect uh, once we get into the season. But the fact is, it is the beginning of a new year. And uh, even though it's not the beginning of the January 1st new year, it's the beginning of our Christian year. And therefore, we want to share in a service of covenant renewal as we start this new year. And that's what this service is. Uh, it's, it's really attributable to John Wesley, but it's been updated uh, for more contemporary language, and uh, it's a beautiful service. There are a lot of words, uh, but they're very important words, and so I, I just uh, encourage us to be mindful and, uh, and prayerful as we walk through our service of covenant renewal today. Okay, now, just by way of prayer concerns, I want to remind us that Maurice Young died this past week. He is the, sister, the brother of uh, Cheryl Reed and Joe's brother-in-law. So he was buried on, uh, on this past week. We want to keep the family in our prayers. Herb Wallace had a cardiac ablation, and it went well. It went well, and thank you, everybody, for your uh, prayers and good thoughts. Trust that it will continue to go well. So far, so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, finally, we want to continue to pray for Deborah Sparkman. Uh, who has gone home, praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah. that's amazing, amazing, yeah. And we'll be doing physical therapy at home, uh, so let's keep, keep Deborah in our prayers. Uh, and finally, we know this, uh, this weekend we've celebrated Veterans Day. Uh, our, our Scout Pack, our Cub Scout Pack, uh, represented our church and the, the Cub Scout Pack 2862 in the parade yesterday, so... I'm grateful, Gil, for your leadership in that endeavor. And we want to take a moment and, uh, and remember and thank God for those who have served in our armed forces. Will you please stand if you have? And uh, we have a card that the Sisters of Strength uh, want to share with you. We thank you sincerely from the bottom of our hearts for your sacrifice and your service. There's a prayer that's printed in our Antioch story that I just want to pray before we begin our service of worship. Let's pray together. Dear Lord, today we honor our veterans, worthy men and women who gave their best when they were called upon to serve and protect their country. We pray that you will bless them for their unselfish service in the continual struggle to preserve our freedoms, our safety, and our country's heritage for all of us. Bless them abundantly for the hardships they faced, for the sacrifices they made, for the many different contributions to America's victories over tyranny and oppression. We respect them, O oh Lord. We thank them. We honor them. We are proud of them. 
We pray that you will watch over these special people and bless them with peace and happiness. Amen and amen. Let's turn our hearts and minds to Almighty God and begin just with this reading. And, uh, you'll follow along closely to the different voices that are going to be leading in the service. Uh, Jane Lawson will be re reading and leading the invitation. And I inadvertently left her name out, but uh, you can look for her in that regard. <coughs> Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. You are the one true God who reigns forever. Let us pray. Almighty God, you search our hearts and you see every part of us. All our desires are known to you, and from you no secrets are hidden. By the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, cleanse our hearts so we may perfectly love you and glorify your holy name. We pray this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite you to stand as your able friends. Let's sing our faith together. who seek to live as true disciples of Jesus Christ, but sometimes we fall short. Let us now examine ourselves before God, humbly confessing our sins and submitting our hearts so that we do not deceive ourselves and cut ourselves away from God. Let us pray together. Creator God, 
you have set forth the way of life through your Son, Jesus Christ, whom you love dearly. We shamefully confess that we have been slow to learn from him and have been reluctant to follow him. You have spoken and called to us, but we have not listened. You have revealed your beauty to us, but we have been blind. You have stretched out your hands to us through our friends, but we have passed by them. We have accepted your gifts and offered little thanks. We are worthy of your unchanging love. We now confess to you our sins. Please forgive us for the poverty of our worship, for the selfishness of our prayers, for our inconsistency and unbelief, for the ways we neglect fellowship and your grace, for our hesitation to tell others about Christ, for the ways we deceive others. Forgive us, us for when we waste time and when we misuse the gifts you have given us. Forgive us for when we have made excuses for the wrong things we have done and when we have purposely avoided responsibility. Forgive us that we have been unwilling to overcome evil with good and that we have not been ready to carry our cross. Forgive us that we have not allowed your love to work through us to help others and that we have not made their suffering our own. Forgive us for those times when instead of working for unity, we made it hard for others to live with us because of our lack of forgiveness, inconsiderate judgment, and quick criticism. Forgive us for when we have not tried to reconcile with others and when we have been slow to seek redemption. Forgive us also for these sins that we silently confess to you now. God, who is merciful and just, is faithful to cleanse us from our sins and restore us to Christ's image. Praise and glory be to God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's pass the peace of Christ to one another, my friends.
invite us, friends, as you're able to stand and let's sing our faith together. Morning, as well, it's not morning, it's broken. It's, uh, you know the tune, though. Let's stand and sing. Then Joshua summoned all the tribes of Israel to Shechem, including their leaders, elders, leaders, judges, and officers. So they came and presented themselves to God. Joshua said to the people, This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. Long ago, your ancestors, including Herod, the father of Abraham and Nahor, lived beyond the Euphrates River, and they worshipped other gods. But I took your ancestor Abraham from the land beyond the Euphrates and led him into the land of Canaan. I gave him many descendants through his son Isaac. And going to verse 14, 15, Joshua says to the people, So fear the Lord and serve him wholeheartedly. Put away forever the idols your ancestors worshipped when they lived beyond the Euphrates River and in Egypt. Serve the Lord alone. But if you refuse to serve the Lord, then choose today whom you will serve. Or would, it, would you prefer the gods your ancestors served beyond the Euphrates? Or will it be the gods of the Amorites in whose land you now live? But as for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God.
would you pray with me? We bring you only what is yours, Creator God, that you might use this offering and the giver for the building up of your kingdom and the glory of your name. Amen.
Reflect on whether you are willing to choose Christ's holy, holy laws and strict commands. Be sure you are clear in all of these so you do not lie to God. Second, uphold a serious spirit of holy awe and reverence. Third, claim God's covenant. Do not trust in your own strength and power, but rely upon God's promise of, promise of giving grace and strength. In this way, he will empower you to keep your promise. Fourth, be determined to be faithful. You have given your heart and life to God. You have opened your mouth to dedicate yourself to the Lord. With God's power, never go back to your former way of living. And last, be prepared to renew your covenant with God. Fall on your knees, lift your hands, open your hearts. We turn now to the covenant prayer. Please be aware of the fact that there is an opening line missing before the people respond. Listen carefully. God expects that we are faithful and that we show mercy as he has shown mercy. And the people declare, My righteous God, for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, See now as I fall down before you. Forgive my unfaithfulness when I have not done your will. You promise mercy and I turn to you with my whole heart. God requires that you rid yourself of every idol in your life. From the bottom of my heart, I am here now and pronounce the idol of my life. God searches and knows you, even the thoughts of your heart. O oh God, 
You know that we have made this covenant today in sincerity, without us deceit or reluctance. If you find anything false in us, guide us and help us to say it right. And now, glory be to you, God our Father. From this day forward, I shall look upon you as my God and Father. Glory be to you, God our Son. You have loved me and washed me from my sins through your sacrificial life and your redemptive suffering. From this day forward, I shall look upon you as my Savior and Redeemer. Glory be to you, O God, the Holy Spirit. By your almighty power, you have turned my heart from sin to God. From this day forward, I shall look upon you as my comforter and guide. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you have now become my covenant friend, and I, through your infinite grace, have become your covenant servant. You are mine, and I am yours. So be it. May this covenant that I have made here on earth be ratified. Continuing in prayer, we offer collectively this prayer that your Son, the Christ, taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy eyes is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Christ to stand, my friends, as you're able, and let's sing our faith together.
praise God and whatever else you got going today. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, I do want to remind us that this meal next Sunday is happening. It's going to be a beautiful service with our Arabic Christian church and our Nepali uh, New Vision Church worshiping all together here. And then going down to have a beautiful meal of Arabic food, <coughs> Nepali food, and good old American turkey. <laughs> <laughs> and all the dressing inside. So please plan on coming to see Linda to sign up for a meal that you can, or a dish that you can share. God bless you. It's been such a great morning. Uh, I praise God that we've been able to be here together. May our God, who establishes covenant relationship with those who seek to enter the kingdom, be with you always. May Jesus Christ, who seals the new covenant with his life, death, and resurrection, bring you peace. May the Holy Spirit guide your life both now and forever. Go in peace to serve the Lord and God's people together said, Amen. Amen. Amen.